guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this week in video. Well, I've always been a fan of the X-Files and in honor of the upcoming miniseries, I thought I would just uh, make some X-File cookies. So if you like the X-Files too, I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'm starting off with a plain round cookie and I used my uh, cookie dough recipe. I do have a tutorial on my channel if you want to check it out. Then I'm starting off with some black royal icing. And the realizing recipe, again, is on my channel, uh, if you want to check it out, it's pretty easy to make and it's really good. And uh, all I'm going to do with this one is just make the outline with my realizing and then the filling. And for this one, I am using my tipless piping bags. And again, I do have a video on my channel, kind of like review kind of video, and I gotta say, I love these bags. So once my cookie is covered, not dry yet, um. And right before it dries, I'm just going on in with the decoration. So I'm just going to be working on some wet and wet technique. For that, I'm going to be using some royal blue. I'm just going to add a bit of uh, blue realizing here and there. And then with my scrap tool, uh, which I do have the DIY on my channel if you want to check it out. But you can use that toothpick as well. I'm just going to drag the whole thing to make it look like um, the sky or just like the logo of the X-Files. So, you know, just uh, work on that one, the blue one, until you're happy with how it looks. But this is how I did it. And then, following the same wet and wet technique, and before my cookie dries, I'm just going in with my white realizing, and I'm just going to add a few stars of different sizes. They are just spots here and there. And just make them like different, different sizes, different in different places, just randomly. And this is how I add the kind of like the smallest ones by just picking a bit with my scrap tool and just placing that small dot on the cookie. And yeah, just keep on doing that until you're pretty much happy with how it looks. Once my cookie is dry and set, and make sure that it is because if not, uh, will your icing will break. I'm just going to take a piping tip, it doesn't really matter what number you're working with, as long as it's a small. And then with my scrap tool, I'm just going to mark around the circle. So this is pretty much what you're going to be left with. And then with my red realizing, I'm just going to go ahead and add a line on the top of the previous line. So the previous line was just like marking where I wanted my red line to be. And then right after that, you don't have to wait for that circle to dry, you can just work on the rest of the creation right after. But I'm just going to place first an X, white X, on just the middle of that uh, circle. And then I'm just going to work on the first the files, letters, or the word. And then here I'm just taking my time with each letter. I was following an image that I was seeing online to just have the, the font as close as the original logo would be. And yeah, just do your best. I know my writing is not like 100% equal as the original logo, but again, this is just um, an inspiration cookie. For the D part on the beginning, I did start with the uh, E because of space reasons. And then the H, kind of like going backwards in here. And then finally the T. And yeah, that's how I did it. And I just wanted to share this one. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I kind of like how this cookie turned out. Let me know what you think of this. And let me know if you like the X-Files. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and share it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.